Hey everyone, it's Meat Mopper X with American Truck Simulator, or as I'll most likely refer to it, ATS. So I've made a profile, Santa Claus is my avatar, and I accidentally, um, I accidentally um, made the profile before I could, um, er, before I started recording, because I thought I was recording, but then I looked over at my recording screen and I felt that I wasn't recording. So I'm just trying to go through this as easily as possible, and that music is really loud. Um, so, I just set up my controller. Simple. Um, headquarters. Select the city I want to start in. Okay. Okay, I can't... Can I not start in Bakes? Oh, no. I'm in completely different... Okay, San Francisco is where I'm going to start. It's kind of a big city, starting by little cities. It's nice, happy, it's fun. Um, do I want to walk through the tutorial? Let's see. No, I don't think I do. Now this is, I'm running the American Truck Simulator 1.4, um, beta. Which means that there were two new features added into the game. The first one is the ability to zoom. Like when you're in the cabin, you can zoom into your instrument panel. And you can zoom into the outside. And you can also adjust your steering wheel, which you couldn't do originally. Welcome to American Truck Simulator. At least at last I have the dream I ha I can't talk today. At last I have the chance to experience my dream job, driving a truck. My I own my own what? I own my own No. My own transportation company is now open for business, but I don't have the money to buy a truck, unfortunately. That's so sad. For now, I'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. And this is a pan of San Francisco. I really like the graphics on this game. Uh, machine parts to Oakland Shippers Dock in Oakland. No kidding. My employer has provided me with a vehicle or vehicle and cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. So, wait for it to load. This world of truck spotlight. Basically, people send in images um, to world of trucks, and the um, editors of the world of trucks blog. I don't. They may not be the editors, but. People choose um, the um, people choose the images that are shown. So right now I'm just setting up my controller, and it looks like it's all set up. Although there's one thing that I want to alter. That's been done. Okay. So if I do that, there we go. Why does that start the engine? Okay, give me a minute and I'm going to reconfigure my controller. And I'll be right... Okay, we're back and my controller is all configured. And you can see, let's take a look around us. We're in... I don't know. But basically, while we're looking around our beautiful rental, rental truck cab cabin and looking at the sun... Um, as it filters through my little sunroof, is the interior zoom. And that is newly added, I think I've said. And you can see just how high quality these te textures are. are. Also, because these instruments are kind of blurry, I'll be using this a lot to look at that. Air brakes and such. 
Now the other feature I was talking to you about. Um, why did my... Okay. Again, I do not think that was supposed to happen. Um. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to alter my gameplay. Let's see, that's all good. Aha, here's it. Here is. We want air brake simulation. Don't want that. Do want that. Realistic fuel consumption, yes. And we do want advanced trailer coupling. And I think that's it. Okay. Problem solved. Now, um, you can start the electricity without starting the engine, which I really like. So, as I was saying, you can now adjust the steering wheel. You can go, if you press H, you can pull the steering wheel closer to you. And if you press V, you can put the steering wheel down. And if you press G, you can bring the steering wheel up. So you can have a really funky steering wheel position. Like this, and we can try and drive it like that, but I don't think that will work. Yeah, I, I can't see my revs. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Steering Wheel, but that will not work. Okay. So, let's just reset that, because I like the steering wheel where it is. And let's start trucking. So, right now we're just driving in our rental truck. To, um... Good, my blinkers are set up to a place called Oakland Shippers. And they are a little, like, port area. And I do not have any mods installed at the moment, but I can easily install mods. So let's have a look at the truck that we are renting. It's the Kenworth W900. And we do not own this truck. This is a rental truck. I've said that many times. Because I guarantee you, someone in the comments will probably say, Wow, how do you own a truck this early in the game? I don't. This is a rental truck. So, yeah. I really like the outside, but I like the inside even more, because you can do use the interior pier. Oh, let's pier at that hot dog area. Oh, wait, we're speeding. Don't speed. I don't need you, Mr. Root Advisor, dude. Okay, now this is where things get a little bit funky. Because I do not know the way that I'm supposed to go. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to turn right or left. Cocktails! Oh. There we go. And you, you'll notice that this thing... At first you're thinking, oh wow, why does this have, like, 30,000 revs? It doesn't. If you, know, if you don't know anything about trucks, this is times 100, so it only has, it only, its red line is 3,000 RPMs. And it doesn't even get up to that. Often. Unless you've messed stuff up. Rail red line is 2,500 RPMs. And you're supposed to, your optimal shifting point is 1500 RPMs. So really, a car's idle is your shifting point. If you're in um, manual and, and you're stuck in neutral, though, any point is your shifting point. And a lot of these mirrors and stuff suck up quite a lot of frame rate. So I'm just gonna remove those side mirrors. And those chrome things really suck up a lot of frame rate. 
I mean, it's still... If the chrome things weren't there, then this would be, like, flawless. Frame rate, maybe. So I'm gonna move over to the speed area, because I really like that. Cruise control! 55, I want 55, thank you. Oh dear, toll, oh, toll. So, this works like any other toll. Where, okay, that was rooted differently than I thought it was. This works like any other toll booth. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna point something out. I completely missed the toll booth. Kind of strange. Oh, maybe that's they did that because I don't have any money yet. Alright, so we're pulling into town. What? How many gears does this thing have? I'm gonna check once we get there. Whoops, turn signal. Okay, you're so slow, Mr. Truck. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me all that torque. Give me the torque in your engine. Torque to me. Um, so, on a completely unrelated matter of torque, in America, if you are from Europe, which I know some of you are, you can, in Europe you cannot turn it right on red, but in America you can, if there are no cars coming. Eee, Mr. Prius. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at you, because my, okay, don't, don't back away. Actually, yes, back away to let me through. And then stay there. Because you, my friend, should watch out. Dude, back up, back up, back up, back. Okay, how stupid. No, don't back up into me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Prius, but you need to move. Okay, please do something. Please? Even driving away would work? Okay. I am really starting to not like you. You know, I'm going... Hey, hey, traffic, traffic behind me. Don't yell at me. It was, it was Prius. It was not me. You cannot blame this on me. Good thing the AI cannot honk yet, because I would probably be getting a whole lot of honk. Stop. That doesn't mean anything to me. Oh dear. Okay, I think I keep thinking with this truck's long nose that it's just gonna hit something. And apparently that wasn't okay, there we go. So there are three options for parking your trailer. Two, really. If you do Sarah, I'm in a hurry now, that means that you don't park the trailer at all and you don't get any XP. Let's play it safe is the easiest of the parking. And where do you need it is the hardest. Now, because there's a nice open space, I'm going to try where do you need it. And... Because a lot of my videos are really long, I'm probably going to end it there. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. This is basically the rule with me eh, right now. As an early YouTuber, eh, it's not really a rule. I try not to do it, but it happens. 
is whatever you most likely what, most likely whatever you consider as a normal video length that is going to be a short video for me and I try not to do that but oh ho, ho. I forgot that this is a truck with the stupid smokestack wow four reverse gears is that necessary really is that really necessary? Using my mirrors because I can't peer out the other window. And I don't have any type of head tracking gear installed, so I have to use my joystick. Personally, I think head tracking gear is a bit too overkill. But that's just me. Um, are we parked? Have we parked yet? I really can tell. I kind of have to peer at my mirror. Um, okay, thank you. Stop reversing! I will eat you for dinner. Okay. Which is strange because I've already... Okay. Did I do this, like, there's a really weird sweet spot? Okay. So I'm just gonna turn it off my engine because then I can't move and then I'm going to put my parking brake on so that I really can't move and I'm gonna look at the cargo boxes but I really shouldn't I should really finish the job so yeah you finish jobs wait let's take a one more pan around the outside I'm gonna leave the electricity going so the lights look good. Um, those two horns up there, they work. You can access them by pressing N. And it sounds beautifully terrible. And you can do your normal horn by pressing H. But it sounds really weird when you put them together. Sounds like you know when those... Or you have dramatic music, like... In a movie, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. The person on that boat, or maybe it's not a boat, but the person that's watching me unload is probably like, "Oh my gosh, stop honking!" Okay, excellent. Even though we spent a lot of our time honking, oh, we did not. Wow. Okay, normally it's from San Francisco to San Francisco, your first job. Um, so yeah. Clean, large rooms, cable TV, and phone. All of those you can get in a normal hotel. But I really like... This is a normal picture. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot this part. Truck Headquarters. That's that's the name of my company, apparently. Even though I told... Even though it's technically Meep Inc. This is my headquarters. Yes, I know. It's a pretty basic garage. Whoops. If you heard that, that was my hand knocking my microphone. It may not be much, but it's a start. Um, it may not be much. It's a shed. Unfortunately, I've got nothing to park there. So there are no trucks in sight. And that just makes it look more sad. Um... Yeah, so, once I bought a truck, I can move freely. Although trucks cost like 119000 About as much as a Mercedes. Um, so yeah, this is my preferred truck design. Um, and that basically just means that, um, it shows you, like, this is your dream truck, according to you. And it is the Kenworth 3900. Um. So I think I may end this video here, and we'll do a couple more jobs next video. So until next time, this has been Meat Mopper X, not playing BMG Drive, but playing American Truck Simulator. See you then.